What's up, YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button, right along with that notification bell, so every time I upload, you'll get notified. Hit the share button, because sharing is caring. There are no secrets over here in this channel. And well, hit the like button, please, guys. Y'all killing me by not hitting the like button. And leave a comment down in the comment section. As you guys know, I love communicating with you guys in the comment section. Please don't be negative because I will be petty. And for everybody else, welcome back to Eva Gang. It is Monday. It is Monday afternoon. It's almost 3 o'clock. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and cute because I'm doing a lot of work. And I got about an hour before my first kid gets home. So, my jazzy life, first yesterday uploads a video talking about I apologize and she was basically apologizing to like you know her supporters and fans and so on and so forth um almost breaking down in tears but not quite because she cried all day the day before <sighs> my thing is the only people that she needed to apologize to was her children and promise to be a better mother to them getting on making some phony ass video you know saying that people picked at her at her worst moments now true indeed none of us are perfect especially being parents it's hard being a parent but jasmine is very young and you have choices whether you want to be a parent or not. After that first kid. And my thing. And here's my thing. This is just what bothers me. If you know that you're not in a financial situation. To bring a child into the world. Because it costs. It, it takes a lot more. To have a baby. Buy some formula and some diapers. And keep them clothed. And put food in their mouth. Along with that territory comes with. Me getting up and going to get a real job because I don't give a fuck what nobody say unless you're making millions of dollars. YouTube is not a fucking income. It's not a job. This is why she's crying on a live just a few minutes ago because she doesn't want to, in reality, she doesn't want to pick up the camera and vlog anymore because she's, she doesn't know how to go about doing it without throwing her kids in the mix. She's upset because they took her food stamps away. Baby girl, let me explain this to you. You took your food stamps away from you. Your locked up baby daddy took your food stamps away from you because he's not out to work a normal nine to five job to support you and them four kids. You choose not to use your degree and to sit home on your ass and not go to work, whereas you won't need food stamps. You got yourself kicked off of food stamps for probably not reporting income or having too much income because that's the way society works. Either you, you, you make too much money and you don't qualify or you make too much money but it's not really enough to go in the grocery store and feed a family of five but they feel you're making $3 too much, we're not giving you nothing. That's how society works. So with that being said, Stop depending on the government to take care of you and your children. You have a college education. Get a real job. There are so many work from home jobs that's available to work right now. So many. Well, you didn't even have to be on the phone. So your kids could be ripping and running and hollering and screaming. And you could be on your computer doing the work that you do. Eight hours a day getting paid really good money. So cut the fucking bullshit ass excuses. Talking about caught her at her worst moments. Then this dizzy ass girl gets on fucking live a few minutes ago. Book us not tears crying. You should have been doing that crying in that apology video. Maybe people wouldn't have picked with you so fucking much. But you crying telling people to leave you the fuck alone and stop cyberbullying you. Stop giving people ammo to use against you. You're giving people the ammo to use against you. You're just saying, here, there you go. Take it. You're being reckless. You are being reckless. You're giving people something to talk about you. 
Strong Mommy Chrissy had came into the live and told her, girl, get off a live crying for these people. That was her exact words in that live stream. And that was so fucking true. Why are you on live showing more weakness to people? Could people pick with you because you're weak? You're not a strong-willed individual. You're weak. So you let people fuck with you. You let people talk about you. You let people talk about your kids. It's too easy to say, you know what? I'm not going to vlog my kids, period. There are so many YouTubers out there, me being one included, where you will never see my kids. You will never see a day in the life of the fuck nothing. The fuck out of here. You don't need to see what my kids look like. You don't need to see what my son looks like. You don't need to see what my daughter looks like. You don't need to see what my granddaughter looks like. It's none of y'all's business. And if that was that, this type of channel, then I wouldn't give a fuck. But obviously, you vlogging with your children is not working for you. Because you got too many faults as a parent and you're letting that shine through. Then this reckless ass bitch goes on to say that nobody understands being a single mom with four kids and nobody to help. Like, so she the only one out there with kids? She the only one out there with a locked up baby father? She the only one out there with twins? She the only one out there with stair stepper kids? There are so many other women that is in her shoes, but they don't fucking fall to pieces. You put your grown woman panties on and you do what you got to do as a mother. A lot of people think I don't go through anything because I have older kids. If any advice that I can give to Jasmine and other young women like her, enjoy your children now because when they get to be adults, that's a whole nother ter territory that you don't even want to tread on. Like, I wish to hell my two daughters that are 24 and 22 and do not even live in the same state as me at this point, I can just shrink them back and do that over again. Like, <laughs> it, she tickles me. Like, she the only one. Like, now, granted, I have two teenagers at home. I get tired. I get frustrated. I be in the middle of doing stuff and I get a kid come to me. Not too much my son because he's more, so he's a boy. And he's more so very, very independent. Thank God for that. But my youngest one, my 12-year-old, she'll be 13 next month. She is still so very needy. It's not even funny anymore. Like, what was it, Saturday? Or was it yes yesterday, Sunday? I'm trying to get work done. I feed my kids, like, they can get their own breakfast. Sometimes on a Saturday or Sunday, I'll cook breakfast for me and my little one because my son just basically does cereal, whatever, teenagers. So middle of the like Saturday, I fix eggs, bacon, I think bagels, whatever. We were good. And then I put their lunch for them already ready in the fridge in case I'm in my room with company or I'm in there sleeping or something. Then they, good. they just know to go to the refrigerator and get what they want. And of course, they can do what they want to do and get whatever they want to get out of the pantry. <sighs> hmm. So the little girl, she ate her she she ate her her lunch. Literally five minutes. Oh, can I get some of this out the fridge? And I'm like, okay, go ahead. Like, well, well, what it was is it wasn't opened, so I had to go open it because it required using a knife, and I don't allow her to use knives. So, I was like, okay, I'm coming. Give me a minute. So, I had to stop what I was doing, which was very important. Get up. Go get her what she needed. And I was upset because it's like, damn, I just fucking fed you. Like, you just ate. I just saw you ate. But it's like they're kids. Kids always are going to be hungry. They're always going to want you for something. They're always going to need you for something. It is what it is. You can't sit up there and be like, oh... I feed them. I did this. I did that. Because it's going to be constant. It's going to be constant. It's going to be constant. 
And then after she ate that, she was okay until dinner. And I just ordered something outside, you know, so it can be real quick. So I didn't have to stand on my feet because it's like I was tired. Like, you know, as a mom of older children, I get frustrated a lot too. But I don't take that out on my kids. I never show my face to my kids. Like, never. Even with the adult ones. They get on my fucking nerves too. But it's like, more so the oldest one. But it's like, I don't show that face. I be a parent, I be that mom that, I, that, that I'm destined to be, and I keep it pushing. Like this morning, I was so tired, and it was like, I had to get up, I had no other choice. Because if I don't get up and make shit move, my son is gonna lay in there and be late for school, the little girl's gonna come staring me in my face like, bitch, you knew I was supposed to get on that bus, now I'm getting to school because you don't have a car. You see what I mean? So it's like everything falls on my shoulders. And let's not forget that, talk about depression for your ass, talk about anxiety, talk about panic attacks. I just lost my boyfriend four months ago. He's dead. He's not coming back. So I can't even take five minutes to myself and like, just like, mourn and and just be to myself and think about the good times and think about the bad i can't i can't i can't want to know why because it's just me i can't take any time to myself and just be me because it's just me who gonna cook dinner them kids no who gonna do the grocery shopping i thank god that everything now is basically online because i placed my order earlier for a grocery delivery they'll be here between three and four and then i'll just cook dinner and woohoo but they can't cook dinner i have to do that and i'm not going to sit up here and order food every day and be bankrupt by the end of the week i have a whole business to run so that means when i got a lot of orders to fill i have to fill orders Make sure the kids are good. Make sure homework is being done. Make sure baths are being taken. Cook dinner. It just, and it's the same process every day. Every day. It don't stop. And yes, I do wish that their father lived closer. He lives, you know, on the West Coast. I wish he lived closer so he could help out with them. Take off, take them for at least a week or two weeks and I can get a break. But I don't have that option, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I get up and I do what I'm supposed to do as a grown woman, as a mother, because that's what I signed up for. And that's what she don't seem to get. When you lay down with this piece of shit ass man, because you knew he was a piece of shit when you first had your first kid. See, we don't, you, you're not getting off that easy. You knew what Philip was about. And it just, for me, I can't understand why women just keep having babies with ain't shit ass dudes. And then they get put in jail, and then you sitting up there like, oh my God, I have no one to help. There's no help. There's no help. So yes, I'm going to do this, and yes, I'm going to do that. That's not an excuse. You do what you have to do as a parent, and you keep it moving. Like, it's not that fucking hard. And getting on live stream crying, like I said, you just making yourself look real fucking weak. It's too easy to say, you know what? I need to redo this channel. I need to rebrand it. I need to take a whole nother totally different outlook on this. If she can remove her children from her channel, vlog around your kids, or when your kids are not around as much and making that much noise, your channel will be very successful and you won't have to worry about people calling CPS and calling the police and getting your food stamps taken away because they don't see the negativity. Your channel is nothing but negative, 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 screaming, hollering, kids, you screaming at the kids, you getting on camera looking like who did it, who done it, and why because you've been sleeping all damn day long because you don't want to get up and deal with the kids. It's a cycle. But ain't nobody feel sorry for Jasmine. Jasmine calls all of this on herself. You reap what you sow. It is what it is. I got to go because I got schoolwork to do. What do I know? I'm just a grungy girl from Brooklyn. Bye, guys.